Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, I am so excited, but we're going to be reviewing the Endangered Cosmetics Sea Turtle Palette. So you guys want to see what this palette is all about, what this company is doing for the sea turtles and what type of look I create. Well, then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so a couple months ago, I actually introduced you guys to Endangered Cosmetics by reviewing the Red Panda palette. And oh my God, I love that palette so much. And I really, really, really do love Endangered Cosmetics. This is one of the only brands that I have ever come across that donates 10% of the proceeds to the cause that they are supporting. So in the Red Panda palette, they were donating 10% of all proceeds to the Red Panda network. And in my video, I donated all my AdSense from that video and I matched it with my own. And I was only able to donate $112, but I don't really make that much per video. So I did the best that I could. And I'm just so happy that I got to give back to a good cause. Well, Endangered Cosmetics just rolled out with their second palette and it is the Sea Turtle palette. And just like before with the Red Panda Network, they're gonna be donating 10% of all proceeds to Sea Turtle Conservancy. And just like I did in my last video, every bit of essence made on this video, I'm gonna donate to the Sea Turtle Conservancy and I'm gonna match it with my own money. So please watch this video so I can make as much AdSense as possible so I can donate it back to the Sea Turtle Conservancy. I'm so happy to donate all the AdSense from this video to the Sea Turtle Conservancy so and to match it with my own. And if you guys wanna participate and donate, I'm gonna leave the Sea Turtle Conservancy down below. There's so many different ways you guys can help them by adopting a turtle, donating, sharing, volunteering. There's so many different programs out there. If you guys wanna contribute your time and money, I'll leave everything down below. So with this, so let's go ahead and dive into the Endangered Cosmetics Sea Turtle Palette. Now this does retail for $28.99, but that is in the UK money. So I don't really know what that correlates for US. I think it's like 25 something. All I know is I ended up spending like $45 after everything is said and done because I did have to pay for shipping and handling, which roughly was like 18 to like $20, give or take session to ship over from to ship over from the UK to over here. So I think I ended up spending, yeah, so I think it is about $25 for the US, but after shipping handling, I paid $45. And I got here within two weeks, very, very nice. And as always, it's so nicely packaged. I do love the fact that the owner does have a little personalized card and she does like, you know, write a sweet little note for every single customer that purchases it. And then she also puts like cute little, like, she also puts like cute little cards in here. So right back here, there's a little, per right back here is a little card. And it says name, It's this is the green sea turtle. The type is, rep is reptile. Its habitat is tropical and subtropical oceans. Its diet is, is herbivore and its status is endangered. It says with every purchase, you are helping the sea turtle conservancy pr protect the colonies of the green sea turtles in the Caribbean. That is so freaking cool. I love that she puts that little info card here. There is another one that this is the hawksbill sea turtle and it's an omnivore and this is considered critically endangered. And it's again, with every single purchase, you are helping the sea turtle conservatory protect the hawksbill turtles in the habitat in the Caribbean, which I think is absolutely amazing that she puts this in here. And she also included a little magnet, a little magnet that I could put on my fridge. I'm so excited to put this on my fridge. Like she puts a lot of time and effort into her brand, into the packaging, into the products, into just a tiny little bit of details. Everything was so nice and wrapped inside the box. She does use all recycled material, so I really do appreciate that. And yeah, this is one of the cosmetics brands that they definitely have a cause. If I were to ever own my own cosmetics brand, I'd wanna do something like this because I think it's so important to try to protect the earth that we inhabit. Fact that like, this is a really small beauty brand. Like this is a really small brand and that they're willing to sacrifice profit and give 10% of the proceeds to these causes is truly phenomenal. I do love that. So with that said, let's dive into the sea turtle palette. So. I love the packaging, it's super cute. It's little sea turtle shells. And when you open it, here we have little sea turtles right here. And this is how the palette looks. Very, very beautiful, very summery, very spring, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Now I loved the Red Panda palette formula, so I can only imagine this is gonna be the exact same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these shades for you guys, and then we're just gonna go ahead and dive into the look. Now this palette is based upon the Hawksbill Turtle and the Green Turtle. There are no shade names in this, and I kinda don't blame her, because I don't think I would wanna name anything either, but 
yeah, I just really just want to play with these. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys, and then we're going to go ahead and dive straight on into a look. All right, so here are the swatches right here. Oh my God, they glided on like freaking butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're just going to go ahead and play with this palette. This is a really, really beautiful palette. Oh, I cannot wait to see what she does next. Oh my God, this is so cool. Okay, I'll be, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in. All righty, so the very first shade I'm gonna go into is this green shade right here. Um, you know what's actually really funny is that I have loved sea turtles for so long when i actually used to go to sea world i don't go to sea world anymore but i will say at least but i will say that there was a portion of sea world that i did admire and that is the rescue of sea turtles the rehabilitation and the rescue of sea turtles because i whenever i used to go down to like coco beach and whatnot i would see sea world out there a lot of times releasing sea turtles back into the ocean and i really really admired that and uh they do have a really really wonderful uh, sea turtle exhibit and they made it into like it's not a ride, but it's called the sea turtle trek where you can go into like this, this observatory and like you're standing in like in this dome and like the screen is like all over. It's like 360, 365. And it pl tells you the story about a sea turtle from the moment that it is born, like it hatched into the end of its life. And it's a really, really beautiful story. And before you get to go watch that story and see how you can help and preserve and protect sea turtles, you actually get to go into like a sea turtle exhibit and they have like this huge, huge uh, room or aquarium of all these different marine life. And there's a lot of sea turtles in there. And the ones that are in there are the ones that can't be rehabilitated and put back out into the wild because they are, are they're damaged. They're missing a leg or they have, sea, they, have she, they have shell damage. And they really do try to ed educate you on the importance of protecting our sea turtles. And it's actually a really, really informative exhibit. And I really do admire that portion of SeaWorld. There's a lot of things I don't necessarily agree with but I do admire that portion and um I really do love that exhibit and that was like one of the first times I think I've ever seen a sea turtle was when we went to SeaWorld long ago well good thing over at Epcot Epcot does the same exact thing over in um the living over where the living seas used to be it's now like um Finding Nemo ride that ride I just I don't care for but it does show you all the different marine life that they have there as well. And they do have a few sea turtles. And I have to say sea turtles are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous creatures. And um, it's so sad to know like what happens to our sea turtles. And I would love nothing more in my life to go snorkeling and see like a wild sea turtle. I feel like that'd be like the coolest thing in the world to see like an actual like sea turtle in the wild and not like behind a glass tank, you know? But I did a little research and I just want to tell you guys a little bit about sea turtles. Often considered the most majestic of the turtle family, the sea turtle is a large ocean going reptile known for its gentle nature and long lifespan. Swimmers, snorkelers, and divers revel in seeing these stunning creatures glide by effortlessly throughout the sea. Though often associated with tropics, sea turtles are actually found in all of the world's ocean except for the polar seas. Sea turtles have been revered by humans for millennia. In fact, many creation stories in various world cultures featured tales of the world being built on the back of a sea turtle. Today, there are seven species of the sea turtles in existence, and most all are listed as least vulnerable to extinction under the IUCN's red list. These ancient reptiles, which have been around since the age of the dinosaurs, may yet disappear if we do not act to conserve them. The earliest known sea turtle fossils are about 150 million years old. In groups too numerous to count, they once navigated throughout the world's ocean. But in just the past 100 years, demand for turtle meat, eggs, skin, and color shells have dwindled their population. Destruction of feeding and nesting habitats and pollution of the world's ocean are all taking a serious toll on the remaining sea turtle population. Many breeding populations have already become extinct and an entire species are being wiped out. There could be a time in our near future where sea turtles are just an oddity found only in aquariums and natural history museums. Sea turtle bones and shells have been found in excavated human settlement sites dating back as far as 7,000 years ago. Sea turtle meat was a staple food for tropical coastal tribes for centuries. When Christopher Columbus sailed to the Caribbean, he found a plentiful supply of sea turtle meat for his sailors. However, once sea turtles begin to be hunted in greater numbers, the food source quickly becomes unsustainable. 
Sea turtle eggs have been a popular item for humans to hunt for consumption, and in some countries, harvesting continues. Historically, it was a common practice for egg hunters to take the eggs from the nest as the sea turtles was laying them. Typically, none of the eggs were spared, leading to the declining population. The eggs could then be sold at a high price as a food delicacy and as an aphrodisiac in some cultures. Adult turtles were taken not only for their meat, but for their shells as well. The shells were used to produce tortoise shell jewelry and combs, while the meat is considered a delicacy or necessity in many areas of the world. Adult leatherback sea turtles had another prize to offer as well, the oil in their skin. Traditionally, sea turtle hunters would wait until a nesting female came on shore before flipping her onto her back where she could not escape. Sea turtles are marine reptiles with streamlined bodies and large flippers that are well adapted to live life in the ocean. Six species are found in the U.S. waters, all of which are listed and protected under the Endangered Species Act. Although sea turtles live most of their lives in the ocean, adult females lay their eggs on land. They migrate hundreds to thousands of miles every year between feeding grounds and nesting beaches. Leatherback turtles are among the most highly migratory animals on earth, traveling as many as 10,000 miles or more. These ancient creatures have been on earth for more than 100 million years, even surviving the dinosaurs when they became extinct 65 million years ago. Among the threats these marine reptiles face are entanglement, habitat loss, and consumption of their eggs and meat. Sea turtles often drown when caught in fishing gear. Coastal development can destroy important nesting sites, impact coral reefs, and artificial light from houses and other buildings attract hatchlings away from the ocean. Pollution like plastic bags are often mistaken for foods such as jellyfish and ingested, which block their intestines and potentially kills them. In some countries, they're even hunted for their meat and shells, and their eggs are eaten. Sites made the trade of the most species of sea turtles and their eggs illegal in 1981, and CMS works to identify migratory species of animals near extinction that require international agreements in order to protect them. Sea turtles are on their list. The I the IAC is a treaty between 16 Western Hemisphere countries that forbid the capture of sea turtles and their eggs. Though illegally poaching of sea turtles and their eggs still continues, these measures help to curb the practice. In 2014, there were 42 countries where hunting of sea turtles were still legal, including Japan, Mexico, and Papua New Guinea. Even in locations where it is illegal, regular poaching of sea turtles and sea turtle eggs still occur due to limited ability to enforce poaching laws. Still, there are bright spots of hope for the sea turtle population throughout the world. There are several international agreements to protect sea turtles, including the Convention of the International Trade in Endangered Species of Flora and Fauna, the Conservation on the Conservatory of Migratory Species of the Wild Animals, and the Inter-American Convention for the Protection and Conservatory of Sea Turtles. Okay, hey, then we're gonna go into this blue shade right here so freaking beautiful i feel like i am putting the ocean on my eyes right now this is freaking stunning um, i'm not gonna lie when i was doing some research on these sea turtles i got a little emotional just like hearing how six out of the seven species are on the critically endangered list like they are so close to being extinct and that is just so incredibly sad like that is just so incredibly sad that that is where our world is turning and i know that like whenever you go into the safari ride over at animal kingdom they do, they do talk about like the white rhinos and how they're on the brink of extinction as well it's just really sad that like we're living in this world where so many of these creatures that um so these so many of these creatures that inhabit this earth are being extinct because of humans like it's our fault like if you guys ever get a chance there is a documentary on netflix called sea spiracies and it is a wonderful documentary and it really like opens your eyes to what is actually happening with our ocean and if we kill our ocean we kill our world and i i have definitely like have taken measures i barely 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 i mean like it's very rare for me now to eat any seafood it's actually kind of rare for me now to eat any meat period um just because i've stopped being into meat a long time ago um if it does happen it happens on a very very rare occasion um but i don't enjoy it like i don't eat pork i don't eat red meat and if i ever do have chicken it is extremely rare for me to have i don't have eggs i don't have any of that stuff um i mostly eat a lot of vegetarian options and not just because like 
of the documentaries that I watched and because I want to, you know, try to help this world and whatnot. It's also just because I per personally just do not prefer the taste of meat. Like my body has stopped craving it a long time ago. And um, I know some people do disagree with those options, but I'm not gonna be one that like pushes that lifestyle on you. It's just me personally, I just don't really care for meat. Um, I've never really been a big meat eater, meat eater ever. And uh, when you watch these documentaries, like really, you're like, oh shit, like I never want to consume meat again. But I'm never going to push like those type of beliefs on anybody. It's, you know, you got to do what's best for you. I mean, my husband, he still enjoys meat and I'm not going to stop him if he wants to have something. He just doesn't like it when I cook because I cook a lot of like vegetarian options and he's just like, great. And I'm like, I think it's great. <sighs> Guys, this is blending like a dream. Okay. And the last shade we're going to go into is this shade right here. Like I'm barely touching my finger to my eye and it's laying down so much pigment. Holy crap. So now that the eye is done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes. We're gonna do my face and we're gonna come back and do the bottom row together. I have to say these are so freaking beautiful. Like do you guys not see how well the shimmers just blend into each other? And then this matte blended out really beautifully. I was a little hesitant at first because when I swatched it, it didn't seem as pigmented, but ooh is it pigmented and it just blends so effortlessly into that shimmer and these shimmers just pop they glide on like butter they're so smooth they're so creamy and oh my god i love it okay guys i'll be right back all righty now that almost everything is done we're gonna go back into this palette and we're gonna go into this dark blue shade right here and we're gonna run that underneath my waterline and just kind of like blend it out so i'm gonna tap this in and we're going to just lay this down right here oh my god do you guys not see how beautiful that shade is holy crap Ooh, she is pretty oh that is so pretty i haven't done a blue eye look in a hot minute this is actually really 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 nice this is blending out so beautifully like it's kind of giving my eyes that smoky eye effect i could do a black liner but i feel like i just want to do white i love doing white liner i know that like i do it so much but i just feel like it's so pretty and it just really helps to make the eyes pop. I'm gonna go and throw on some white liner, throw on my lips, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I am not going to lie. I am so in love with how this turned out. Like, I think it is so beautiful. Like, I cannot stop staring at my eyes. I really, really love how it turned out. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous eye look and it's definitely perfect for like the summer spring season not necessarily fall but you can still make this work regardless and i really don't do blue looks that often and i really should start because this is really beautiful so i i'm obsessed i'm obsessed but moving on to the endangered cosmetics palette first off i absolutely do adore the packaging i love the fact that this is like a little sea turtle shell and you open up you see the little sea turtles right here i love that it represents the hawk billed turtle and the green turtle i think that's absolutely incredible and then when you open it up i really do feel like this palette does capture the essence of the sea and turtle you have the blues the greens you have the browns of the shells you have the turquoise like you have the golds i think it is such a stunning palette and i do like how there's a mix of shimmers now there are five shimmers in this palette and there are only four mattes and that seems like that's a lot of shimmers but in reality these shimmers mix so well with all the other shimmers and they blend very very easily into the mattes and the mattes are so pigmented like a little bit does go a long way you gotta go very light-handed but they do blend out really really beautifully and oh my god this formula is like the exact same formula from the red panda palette and i love that palette so much this right here is top notch it is absolutely incredible i love this palette so much it is so beautiful and this will probably be my go-to like spring summer look when i want to do like something like beautiful like this if i'm going to go to the beach or just want to have fun blue eyes this is the palette i'm going to go for so in danger cosmetics you guys did a wonderful job again at killing it when it comes to your palettes you guys make phenomenal palettes you guys have a wonderful cause the formulas speak for themselves the packaging is so cute and I am so in love with this palette. So yeah, guys, make sure you guys check out Endanger Cosmetics. Like I said, this does retail for $25, I believe for US, but you do have to pay for shipping and handling. It does come from overseas and it does take about two weeks for you to get it, but it is so worth it. Remember, 10% of all proceeds go to the Sea Turtle Conservancy. And if you guys wanna donate yourself, I'll link everything down below. And not to mention that 
all AdSense will be donated to the Sea Turtle Conservancy as well. And not only am I gonna donate all the AdSense from this video, but I'm also gonna match it with my very own donation. So whatever I make on this video, just know I'm gonna double it and match it. So hopefully we can give back and help to save these sea turtles because they are such beautiful, majestic creatures of the ocean and I would really hate to see them go extinct. So every little bit helps. So make sure you guys check out Endangered Cosmetics. Check out the Sea Conservancy down below and Oh, I am so in love with this palette. I cannot wait to see what Endangered Cosmetics comes out with next. Like truly, the owner puts so much heart and soul into this. I love the personalized notes. Like she does this for everybody, not just me. Like I bought this my own for my own money and I just, I really do admire this brand so much. They support such wonderful causes and I really do admire that about them. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you do, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. So I do post three to four. Honestly, I post pretty much five times a week. I should start saying that because I do post pretty much five times a week, Monday through Friday. I'm always here. <laughs> make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life where you guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my main amazing husband Corey and a huge huge thank you to all these beautiful patron members that you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here I love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys I love you and I'll see you guys in the very next video bye Oh, I'm starving. It's old. In groups, the earliest, the sea conservatory, the sea conservancy, this to the sea turtle conservatory, conser and just, ah, I can't talk. Well, and just like with the red panda, but I have to say that these are so fucking, I have to say, many of mil millions of sea turtles once, and in today's, but I wanted to, hey guys, what's up? Skin color. The earliest known sea, or are you guys, <laughs> no. figured prominent palette, timber. <sighs> conservancy, why do I struggle to say that word? I don't get it. Conservation, conservancy. <laughs> I'm so happy to say one way to keep, one way to keep issue, one conservancy, conservancy.